Hi guys, this is Rice Snow. Last time we implemented collision detection. So now player character cannot walk through solid tiles. And this time we will create some objects and display them on the screen. So first we prepare some object images. Okay, I think. So this is the door. Something like this. So key. something like this so a uh, treasure chest this is not so bad this is not so bad okay so this is boots yeah so I have prepared these four objects. So uh, inside of this rest folder, let's create another package and uh, I'm gonna name this objects. And we're gonna copy these four images to these objects. And then this time inside of this source folder, create another package and name this object inside of this package create a graph and i'm gonna name this super object so this will be a parent class of all object class so that we will create later like kind of similar to this entity class for this player class so and inside of this super object we declare some classes and the object uh, variables first buffered image image then a string name and a public boolean region and the default is false. Public int world x world y. And import buffer image. Alright, that's all for now. So let's create an object class. So inside of this object package, create a class. And I'm gonna name obj key. Yeah, you can just type key, but uh, I kind of like add this kind of uh, abbreviation. So, you know, it's really clear that this is an object class. And this object key class extends super object and constructor obj key. And inside of this constructor, first we set name, key, I think. And then we're gonna load image. So try and catch. Catch IO exception e, e dot print stack trace. And here, image equal image io dot read get class get resource stream and here we're gonna type the file pass so uh it's inside of this objects folder 
So backslash objects and uh, key dot p and g. Okay, now let's go to this game panel and uh, okay, around here we're gonna use this uh, super object obj and we're gonna use this as an array and equal new super object size is I choose 10 so this 10 means uh, we prepare 10 slots for object so we have 10 slots but uh, we can replace the content during the game so this doesn't mean we can only create 10 objects in the game no so this just means we can display up to 10 objects at the same time so for example if you pick up an object a then the object a disappears from the screen so we can add a new object in the vacant slot i just chose 10 because displaying too many objects at the same time can slow down the game but uh, if you think 10 is not enough then uh, you can always increase this number so you can decide the number as checking your game's performance all right so okay next we will instantiate some objects and uh, place them on the map we can do it in this game panel class by like creating a method but I think it would be better to create a specific class and let it handle all the placement stuff so inside of this main package let's create a class and uh, I'm gonna name this asset setter or whatever name you you like okay, so first game panel we're gonna use game panel and the constructor so asset setter game panels we're gonna receive game panel and this gp equal gp okay so inside of this game panel let's instantiate this asset setter maybe after this collision checker public asset setter a setter or something asset call new asset setter and pass this game panel class okay so go back to this asset setter and now create a method public void set object so here we're gonna instantiate some default objects and place them on the map so we're gonna use this object array gp.obj and zero equal new obj we're gonna use this key key object class so since this obj key is a subclass of this super object class so you can instantiate it as one of this array and next gp obj zero and here we're gonna set this objects world x and world y uh, okay so i want to place this key here in front of this lake or pond yeah let's open this map file and uh, so this point so okay i'm gonna change this to uh, grass style and uh, okay so call 23 and loud 7 23 times gp dot style size and the gp dot obj <coughs> worldwide equal 
seven times gp dot tile size. Okay, and let's create one more key. So, so we're gonna put it index one equal new obj. So one more key. Word x. So this time I want to place it around here. Twenty three and. Uh, all right so we instantiated these two keys and uh, also set uh, their default location now let's call this set object method so uh, go to game pan game panel uh, somewhere around here uh, public void I'm gonna name this method setup game or something like that. So from here, we're gonna call, what was it, set object? Yeah, set object. And we want to call this set object method before this game starts. So we're gonna call this setup game method probably from this main class. And before, you know, starting this game thread, so game panel dot uh, setup game. Okay. Yeah. So we call this set object method, and now these key objects got its word x and y. So now let's draw these objects on the screen. To draw these objects, we go to this super object class and uh, create a draw method here and here we get graphics 2d to g2 and also i think we need game panel to What we're gonna do here is almost identical to what we did for background tiles. So yeah, like this one. So we need to find out objects image and screen X and screen Y. And this time we don't need to uh, do this kind of a while loop and scan all the like tiles like this. But instead, we copy only this part, I think, and uh, paste here. And uh, instead of this tile, tile num image, but just image. So this one. So object image. Other than this, I think it's same. So we don't need to change anything. If we know this objects, whatever it is, if we know this objects world X and world Y, then uh, we can find out its screen X and screen Y based on players world X and world Y and the screen position. And so we can draw, draw it on the screen. So let's call this draw method. So I'll go to this game panel graph. And since it's drawing, so we go to this paint component method. This is tile, and this is player, and object. Yeah, I think it should be here. After tile and before player, we're gonna call that draw method in this super object class. But this time we cannot simply call it like this or this. First, we need to know what kind of object we are going to draw. So type like this for loop and int i draw and i 
obj dot length and high plus plus. So this obj is a uh, uh, this one, so super object array. So basically, we scan this object array, super object array, one by one. And uh, if obj index i not equal null, then uh, we're gonna call this draw method. And uh, yeah, pass graphics 2D and uh, this game panel. Yeah, that's it. So this length is 10. So we're gonna scan from 0 to 9 and check if any, any object is inside of you know this array. We need to check if the slot is null or not. You know, otherwise we we might get a null pointer error. So make sure to check it. All right, so uh, now we should be able to draw objects. So let's check. Okay, so uh, go up. Ooh, yes. We found a key. Hmm. This doesn't look so bad. This looks better than I thought. <laughs> Another one. Yep, another key is here. Nothing happens yet though. So two keys are displayed, so this is working good. Okay, so let's create some more objects. And so uh, first, inside of this object package, we'll create a new class. I'm gonna name this obj door. And uh, okay, so I think we can copy this. Uh, okay, so first extends uh, super object. And uh, this is door. And the name is door. So we're gonna use this name a bit later. And the image is door. And okay, let's create one more class. Uh, okay, so uh, obj chest and extends the power object and uh, chest, chest, and a chest. So uh, I'm gonna create three doors and uh, place here, around here, and uh, also around here, and also here, and uh, place the treasure chest around here. Okay, so asset setter. First time, I wanna create one more key. And I'm going to place it somewhere around here. 37 and uh, column and seven rows. And then, okay. Create three door. Door. And three, three, three. Four, 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 five, 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 and also a treasure chest, chest, and six, six, six. Hmm. Okay, so coordinate. Column 10, row 9, 8, 28, 22, and the chest is column 10 and uh, row 7. Okay, 
Yeah, so let's check this. Okay. Uh, okay, so first, let's check the third key. Oop. I was expecting around here, so uh, 37, 38, and 8 or something. And uh, okay, so let's check the doors. Okay, so doors. First door, the second door, and oh, oh, <laughs> not here. It was supposed to be here. And the chest, chest is okay, so uh, let's adjust the placement. So two tiles to the bottom, so all right. Okay, so door is here and the chest is here. So now we got three keys, three doors, and one chest. So at the beginning of this series, I said we are going to make a simple treasure hunting game and uh, we are closing to the end of the first chapter of this tutorial. So the idea is, it's very simple. So first we pick three keys and uh, open three doors and uh, get the treasure. Right now, there is no collision and uh, you can just walk through this door, but uh, but we are going to add collision to this door and change it, change the setting. So we can open this door only when you have a key. So basically there are three doors, so you need three keys. So that's what we're going to do next. So thanks for watching and until next time.